In this video, we're going to discuss rational inequalities, and you can think of rational inequalities as similar to quadratic inequalities, in which you saw in a previous module. Notice the steps are broken down in five steps, just like in the quadratic inequality um, section. And the only difference is step two, in which not only are you finding zeros, but now you're finding where the expression on the left side is undefined. And undefined is when the denominator is zero. So once you get zero on one side, and usually on the right side, then you can determine your numerator and denominator you're going to find where the inequality is undefined, and that's when the denominator is zero. And to find where the inequality is zero, that's when the numerator is zero. And then notice that three, four, and five are pretty much the same as the quadratic inequality steps, where you will take the values you found in step two, place them onto a number line, and take test points and determine the solution. And remember the solution is where the interval makes the inequality true. Okay, so looking at the first example, we have solve x plus eight over x plus two less than zero. Step one says to rewrite the inequality so that zero is on the right side. And notice zero is already on the right side. So step one, is already done for us. Okay. Step two is to determine where our inequality is undefined and equals zero, meaning we have to find when the denominator is zero and when the numerator is zero. So our numerator is zero when x plus 8 is equal to 0, and this means x equals negative 8. Where our denominator is 0, is where x plus 2 is equal to 0, and x is equal to negative 2. So in this case, x equals negative 8 is where the zeros are and x equal negative 2 is where it is undefined. Step 3, graph the two values on a number line. So we'll put negative 8, negative 2, draw our barriers. Pick test values for step 4. So we'll pick to the left of negative 8, um, we'll pick negative 10. In between negative 8 and negative 2, we'll pick negative 5. And to the right of negative 2, we'll pick our favorite, which is always 0. In step 4, we have to test these values and determine the sign of the result. So we'll start off with x equal negative 10. So we'll have negative 10 plus 8 over negative 10 plus 2 which is negative 2 over negative 8, which is positive 1 fourth. So 1 fourth is greater than 0, so all values to the left of negative 8 are positive. In between, we'll test x equal negative 5 into our inequality, and so we'll have negative 5 plus 8 over negative 5 plus 2 which is equal to positive 3 over negative 3, which is negative 1, which is less than 0. And therefore, numbers in between negative 8 and negative 2 will be negative. And the last test point is x equals 0. So we'll have 0 plus 8 over 0 plus 2 which is positive 8 over 2, which simplifies to 4, 
4 is greater than 0. So numbers to the right of negative 2 will be positive. In step number 5, we have to refer to our original inequality, which is x plus 8 over x plus 2 less than 0. Values less than 0, recall that means you're looking for negative numbers strictly negative numbers less in, than zero. And if you look back on our number line, you'll see that negative numbers, when we took our test values, lie between negative eight and negative two. So therefore, numbers to the left of negative eight and to the right of two are thrown out because those are all positive values and we only want negative values. So we want all numbers in between negative 8 and negative 2 because those are numbers that are negative, which are less than 0, and that's what our inequality wants. So our answer would be negative 8 to negative 2. We have a strict inequality of strictly less than 0, so we'll have to use parentheses on both.